I smell something terrific. I smell something baked and terrific. Oh. John is baking pies. No bread, no cake, no pies. Be oh, bread and cake and pies. <laughs> no, maybe muffins. <laughs> muffins, tarts, rolls, maybe cookies. I'm baking dough balls, Garfield. Maybe Danish, maybe prune Danish, maybe dough balls? We're driving to the cove to go fishing today. Dough balls make great bait to catch fish. <laughs> Yuck. What a cool thing to do to a fish. Hi, Pupster. Going fishing with John? No, not me. You won't catch me out in that leaky boat of his getting seasick. I know, no, no, I don't care about the beautiful scenery. The only beautiful scenery I want to see is right here. If you're looking for food, Garfield, I packed everything to take on the fishing trip. <sighs> Ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Nah, I don't care about the fish, but I'll do anything for lunch. The water's so peaceful in this little cove. You know, guys, catching fish isn't the important part. It's the peace and the serenity and just being out in nature that matters. Fishermen always say that when they've been out three hours and haven't caught so much as a sardine. I don't care if I catch a fish. It doesn't matter to me one bit if I catch... <laughs> a fish! I've got a fish on my line! I did it! I did it! John did it! John did it! Alert the media. Hey, there he is! Oh, he's a beaut! He's an hors d'oeuvre. There we go. I knew my dough balls were the perfect bait. I'll put an even bigger one on and catch a bigger fish. and Alfredo sauce. I don't care if you are thirsty. Hey, we're surrounded by water. Try some. Find food. Gotta find food. Uh -oh. Ooh, that was close. Chomper almost spotted me. Now what was I doing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Looking for dinner. Hey, there's something. Yeah, a dough ball. No fish in his right mind would fight under one of those things. A one, Mama's favorite food. Oh. Mama will be so happy with this worm. Mama, Mama, look what I brought ya. Julia, you can't keep a dog down here. A dog? Oh, that's funny. I thought he was a boy. What's wrong with him, Mama? He's a dog, Junior. He needs air. Oh, well, uh, where can he get them? Hi, Mom. Hi, Junior. Hey, I know that dog. He needs air. <laughs> <laughs> 
He sure does. Hey, Bernie! Bernie Blowfish! That dog, he saved my life a little while ago. Now we gotta save his. You're full of air. Sure thing, Red. I'll give him one of my big, beautiful bubbles. <laughs> Where's Odie? Odie? <laughs> That's funny. We're out in the middle of the cove and there's no sign of him. I guess he fell overboard. <laughs> fell overboard? Odie! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do my one heroic deed for the year. Huh? He must be a goner. He couldn't breathe down here. Thanks again for throwing me back, dog. There's an orange cat running out of air over there. Friend of yours, dog? Yeah. Come on! <laughs> This is a nice place you got here. Your friend here saved my life. Would you like a little tour of the bottom of the cove? Oh, yeah, sure. We really like it down here. It's wet, but it's home. Well, it looks like rush hour. This is the main underwater thoroughfare. Ooh. And there's our traffic cop. <laughs> Does he ever give out traffic tickets? Uh, only when he catches someone swimming over the speed limit. This is one of those new fast food places that are popping up. They have a swim through window. Anything tasty to eat? I'm famished. Huh? Would you like a worm to go? I'm not that famished. That reminds me. I promised to find Mama a worm. Uh, see you later. The seahorses are at the starting gate. The track looks fast, but a little wet. Well, it looks like some sort of uh, racetrack. It is, and it looks like a race is just about to start. And there they go. Sea biscuit is off to an early lead, followed by Pony Boy, Little Squirt, and Amphibian up the rail. <laughs> <laughs> Approaching the finish line, Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. And it's Sea Biscuit, the winner. <laughs> Chopper! That's my brother. It's Chopper. We gotta do something. I think I know. Hey, hey! Run! Uh-oh. I'm fish food. Here, fella, have a dough ball. I caught another fish? Chomper's heading out of the coat and into the ocean. You saved us. Again. How can we show our appreciation? Well, the air's getting a little thin in here, so if you don't mind. Certainly. 
Barney? At your service. Going up? Whoa. Garfield? Odie? They must have gotten knocked overboard along with most of my gear. Oh, no. No! They were such wonderful friends. Huh? So cute. So adorable. <clears throat> Don't try to cheer me up, Garfield and Odie. I'm missing Garfield and Odie. Three, two, one. Garfield! Odie! You're safe! You're safe! <clears throat> Not if you keep hugging us like that. Let's celebrate. <laughs> we'll have lunch. Except that there's no lunch. We're stuck here until somebody comes by and rescues us. Stuck out here with nothing to eat? In the meantime, uh, dough ball? Uh, no thanks. I've seen what those things do to fish. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone will be along soon. I'm sorry all we have to eat are these dough balls. Ugh. Yeah, real sorry. Uh, could you pass the mustard, Odie? Happy birthday, Liz! Oh, John, you're spoiling me. You must have better things to do with your money. Yeah, spend it on the cat. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. You're a darling. And that's not all, Liz. Huh? I've cooked a delicious four-course Italian dinner. Oh, John, I love Italian food. Once again, Liz is trying to do my job. And this is from the three of us. Huh? Garfield, Odie, and me. John, this is wonderful. You all look so pretty in this picture, especially Garfield. <laughs> the camera loves me. It must have been quite difficult to take this, getting Garfield and Odie to sit still long enough. Nah, it was a piece of cake. <laughs> Do not believe that, man. You have no idea what it took to get that picture. It all started yesterday morning. It had been a perfect day. Woke up at 10, had breakfast, back in bed by 10.15. Just as I was waking up for my pre-lunch snack, John came in with one of those looks on his face. Garfield, Odie, this is very important. Very important is something that affects my eating or sleeping. Tomorrow is Liz's birthday. Not very important. <laughs> and we're going to give her a very special gift, a family picture. <laughs> Great. Go find a family and take one. Here's a sketch of the photograph I have in mind. I want the three of us with great big smiles. <gasps> <laughs> this is silly. No force on this planet could get me to do this. And if you guys cooperate and we get the picture exactly right, there'll be extra lasagna tonight. <laughs> okay, I'm in. I sell out cheap, don't I? Anything involving tomato sauce and I'm yours. Okay, guys, let's go to it. It'll only take a few minutes. It'll only take a few minutes. When does anything that will only take a few minutes actually only take a few minutes? I have a timer on this so I can get in the picture before it goes off. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's set the timer on, uh, let's say, 10 seconds. <sighs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, looks like I set the timer wrong. <laughs> huh? Ah. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Looks to 
me like you got your best side. This time we should be all right. I set the timer on 30 seconds. Okay, guys, look at the camera and say cheese. Cheese. Hurry up. I have a cramp in my jaw. Maybe I forgot to push the right button. I'll just take a quick look. I think the last shot of you was better. Jeez. Say cheese. Chatter. Odie, stop it. Bad dog, bad dog. And that's pretty much how it went all day long. Say cheese. All this talk of cheese is making me hungry. Cheese. Meow. Meow. This is an awful picture, Nermal. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? You're in it. That's what's wrong with it. Why can't I be in the picture? I'm adorable. This is a family picture, Nermal, and you are not, I'm pleased to say, family. In any case, you're too close to the camera. Oh, how far should I be? How about that far? Chatter. How far are you sending me this time? Maybe you can have your picture taken with some Martians. <laughs> And don't come back! <laughs> Cheese. Hi, neighbor. <sighs> I was fixing myself a nice cup of coffee, and then I realized I was out of sugar. I was wondering if I could borrow some from you. <sighs> We're trying to take a photo here. Hey. Good shot of the next door neighbor. Lousy shot of you. <laughs> Chatter. Hi, Liz. Uh, yeah, we're on for your birthday celebration tomorrow. <gasps> John? John? Are you there? He was there. His brain wasn't, but he was. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hi again, neighbor. You won't believe what I found under my sink. An old package of sugar. <laughs> so I, I guess I won't be needing yours. How's that family picture of yours coming along? Meow. I can make it. What part of the phrase don't come back wasn't clear? <laughs> If this seems drastic to you, you're obviously never met Nermal. Trust me, it's necessary. Uh, oh no, 
My nostril is itching. <laughs> Sorry. Chatter. Ah, figures. The weather report was for clear skies and temps in the 80s. Say cheese, everyone. I keep seeing cheese and not getting any. No comment. All right, now. Before I start the timer, is everything okay? No rain showers imminent? Not a cloud for miles. No one's nose itches? I scratched mine already. How about you? No one's going to interrupt us? No one's going to interrupt us. Fine. I'm starting the timer. <laughs> Say cheese! Has someone order a large pizza with extra pepperoni and mushroom? Uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's your fault for making me think of cheese all day. <laughs> all right, I've had enough. It's time to do something drastic. Okay, everyone ready? Do you think this looks okay? Of course he looks okay. I am one of the world's greatest professional photographers. I can make anyone look good. Even the three of you. All right. I think. You know, if you'd have done this in the first place, it would have saved us a lot of grief. Here? All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Cheese! I need more pizza. Perfect! Magnificent! I have outdone myself. I shall make a print for your lady friend. And that's what it took to get the picture taken for Liz. Well, it's a great photo, and I thank you all for it. It's just... Huh? Oh. Uh, something wrong with it? Oh, no. It's great, but... Well, John, there's a certain expression I know you for. A, a special look you often have on your face. What look is that? Well, it's hard to describe, but it's so typically you. Hmm. <laughs> That's it, John. That's the look I know you for. I know that look very well. the reruns in reality series. It's a sad reality that TV isn't what it used to be. Starfield, Odie! Don't watch too much TV! <laughs> it's bad for your eyes, you know. I'll blast you, you fiend. <laughs> okay, now pay attention, people, please. Make sure you use light whipping cream or else your cookie dough will be too thick. If the arguments in your house are getting out of hand, maybe you're just what we've been looking for. Learning is so much fun with Rob the Giant Chicken. Now sing along with me, A, B, C. You're all 
talk and no answer, Michael. I'm afraid you are the weakest brain. Goodbye. <laughs> Boy, you'd think out of 758 channels, there'd be at least one decent show. Hmm, channel 145, Virtualodeon. Sounds like a lame sci-fi movie. Oh well, what the heck. Good evening. I am Professor Bonkers, and I want to welcome you to the beta testing of Virtual Audion, a groundbreaking invention of mine that will change the face of broadcasting television forever. <laughs> Thanks to the state-of-the-art holographic enhancer that's way too advanced for you to even comprehend, Virtual Audion will bring the characters of your favorite TV show right into your very own living room. And you probably need a pair of those silly 3D glasses. Absolutely not! Huh? That's the beauty of it! Virtual Audion requires no 3D glasses. Let's get cracking, shall we? Who hasn't dreamed of exploring the ocean depths without even getting wet? Uh, uh, me. Huh? <laughs> wow, hurry, Odie, get me some tartar sauce. Ah! Don't worry, Odie, it's just an optical trick. It's not really... It's real! It's really real! <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Good! That was only the beginning. Now! Has any one of you ever wanted to be on a quiz show? What's the capital of Bhutan? Who invented penicillin? How old is Shep? <laughs> I'm afraid you are the weakest brain. Goodbye. <laughs> this virtual pint tastes really nice. And now, for our younger audience, how about a little fairy tale? Are you sure this bean is really magic? Sure, kid. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. I've been had. That's just an ordinary bean. I have a bad feeling about this, Odie. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me, wretched fool? <laughs> I love fairy tales. And now... Can't you see I'm in the middle of a TV show? Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but there appears to be a slight problem with this program. The beanstalk is, um, no longer quite so virtual. And the network just got a call from a lady asking if the shark could please let go of her husband. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Due to some unforeseen problems, I am sorry to inform you that this program will be terminated in ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Wow, seems pretty solid, doesn't it, Odie? In the meantime, let me remind you that the network is not liable for any damages this program may have caused. I need some coffee. What's going on here? What's... This has Garfield written all over it. Garfield! Where are you, bad, bad cat? Uh, I think I'm inside the TV. Garfield, I know you're hiding here somewhere. Help! Huh. No sign of him down here. George Freak of Shampoo will leave your hair soft, silky, and manageable. Meow. Oh, and it will also make it clean. Stupid commercials. Meow, meow. Garfield is so gonna be grounded. No lasagna for a week. No, a year. Talk and no answer, yeah, Michael. <gasps> Odie, what's wrong? Quit barking at the TV. It's just a dumb program with Garfield in it. G -G Garfield? But, but that's impossible. Yeah. What are you doing in there? Huh? You want me to get the TV program? Okay, let's see. Channel 145, Virtual Odeon. Oh no, something must have gone terribly wrong and Garfield got sucked into the TV. 
I'd better call the network. They'll know what to do. And just hold on tight, Garfield, okay? As in boy and banana. M as in warning and mustard. And Z as in zip it, Birdie. Look, you've got to help. My cat was sucked into the TV because of your program. Ah, a most deplorable loss. And you got to help me get him back. <sighs> I'll be there as soon as I can. Meanwhile, try to keep your cat on a safe program. Preferably something uplifting. He's on some educational show. He's learning the alphabet with Rob the Giant Yellow Chicken. Oh. You won't get away with this, Dr. Moore. <laughs> huh? Farewell, Agent 008. <laughs> 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 Huh? 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 Garfield! Someone switch to another channel. Hurry! No! <laughs> it's here! It's here! Send Garfield into a horror movie. Yeah. Why won't it work? Oh no, the batteries must have fallen out when I dropped it. Odie, help me find the batteries. Hurry! Oh no, we're going to be drooled over. If this isn't an emergency, I don't know what is. <laughs> This is pretty bad. Don't worry, Garfield. I found new batteries. Now, make sure you put loads of this yummy cheese between each lasagna layer. <sighs> oh, hello, kitty cat. Huh? <laughs> huh? That must be Professor Bonkers. Odie, don't touch the remote, okay? Now that the lasagna's ready, we can go to work on our lovely Caesar salad. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that oh, savage no. beast oh, just ate oh. my main course. Uh, Garfield! Take this and this, you ravenous monster. Uh, guys, he's nastier than the alien. There. This should definitely be safe. Kiss me. Ugh, way too much lip gloss. Thanks to this turbo hollow extractor, I'll pull your cat out of there in no time. Now stay still for a minute, cat. Not an option right now. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank heavens, Garfield. You're back. Yeah, seems like I made it in one piece. Hey, where <gasps> do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere till you give me a proper kiss. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. It seems that my extractor has accidentally left the gate open. Now sing along with me, or I'll lay an egg right here, right now. Kiss me. No one touches my lasagna till I say so. Oh, God. Don't kill me now. TV back on! 
<laughs> Fools. The world is not ready for my genius. It's here. It's here. Now sing along with me, or I'll lay an egg right here, right now. Don't you think that's enough TV for one day? <laughs> Can't sleep either, huh? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oh! Garfield, I'm trying to clean. John, I'm trying to sleep. I'll vacuum later. Right now, I'll do the laundry. I can't think of anything more annoying than the sound of a vacuum cleaner. Just thought of something. They're doing spring cleaning over where I live, so I thought I'd come spend the day with you. <sighs> <laughs> Are you glad to see me? Nermal, I'm so glad to see you. I'm gonna roll out the red carpet. Roll out the red carpet? Really? For me? What? <laughs> Garfield, is this how someone rolls out the red carpet to welcome someone? No, it's how we roll out the red carpet to get rid of someone. Hasta la vista, baby. I thought he'd never stop. <sighs> Better do Garfield's blanket while I'm at it. Uh, Pookie, you stay here. I wonder what kind of bleach is good for lasagna stains. <laughs> oh! Oh, that wasn't very nice, Garfield. That was kind of the idea, Nermal. You don't make a guy feel very welcome. You know, you should have a place in your home for guests like me. We do. The perfect place. You know, Garfield, I'm beginning to get the idea I'm not wide around here. Really? I can't imagine why. You'll be sorry. One of these days, Garfield's gonna be nice to me. <sighs> what? <gasps> and I think today's the day. <laughs> I'm <sighs> time for my pre-afternoon nap nap. This is the nap I take to warm up for my afternoon nap. <sighs> I just washed the blanket in your bed, Garfield. <gasps> but now it doesn't smell like lasagna. <clears throat> oh well, guess I'll just have to spill some more. <sighs> hey, something's missing. No, someone is missing. Pookie, 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 oh Pookie. Oh well, he'll turn up. It's not like I can't live without him for two minutes. Yes it is, Pookie, Pookie, where are you? Pookie, are you in here? Pookie, are you in here? Pookie, 
Kabuki. No. Kabuki, are you in here? So that's what happened to my corned beef sandwich. I've been at it since 6 a.m., but my spring cleaning is all done, Liz. The house is absolutely spotless, and I'm... Oh, Pookie! What? But, 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 but I just... I'll call you back, Liz. Pookie, come out wherever you are. What? Where is he, Arbuckle? Fess up. What could you be looking for so... Oh, I know. It's Pookie. Oh! Meow. Hand him over, Arbuckle, if you know what's good for you. I took Pookie out of your bed so I could wash the blanket. And I put Pookie right here on the... Huh? Hmm, that's funny. I put him right there. I'm waiting. Oh, you know what must have happened? I must have accidentally knocked him into the cardboard. You cad. <gasps> I don't see him anywhere in here. But then I emptied this into the trash cans outside. Don't worry, Pookie. I'm coming to save you. Pookie, where are you, Pookie? There's no Pookie in here. Garfield, I'm sorry if I accidentally threw Pookie out, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I can't believe I'll never see my little Pookie again. I'll never see his smiling face, never hear his friendly voice. Okay, so he doesn't say much, but he was my pal. Who could do such a thing? Who could be so thoroughly rotten as to take my beloved Pookie? <laughs> you didn't. I did. Found him in the trash, right where you dumped me. This calls for diplomacy. It calls for intelligent, reasoned approach. You give me back my Pookie or a million Abba Jabba in a box mark. Please bend, fold, and mutilate. You ain't one call me Garfield, and you'll never see Pookie again. You can have him back on what condition? You have to be nice to me. How nice? Real nice. You wouldn't settle for almost nice? You be real nice to me the rest of the day, and I'll show you where I hid Pookie. Grr, growl, look at disgust. You win. Real nice. All right. <sighs> Being nice to normal, it's, it's so unnatural. I need a cookie, or two, or 37. <sighs> Bloodhound! Put that nose of yours to some use and track down whoever it is who took all the cookies. It wasn't me! What am I gonna do? Normal in my bed with a stomach full of my cookies? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Garfield, please don't shoot me in outer space. Too good for him. Garfield, please don't let the sharks eat me. <laughs> nah, too kind. Plus, it would make the sharks sick. Let me think. Garfield, please don't make me watch televised golf games. Yes. Oh. You're not being nice to me. You'll never see Pookie again. Pookie? I'll tell you what I'm going to do to Nermalodi. Absolutely nothing. Huh? You know, Garfield, as impossible as it may seem, I think I'm getting cuter. Oh. Don't you agree? <laughs> yes, Nermal. I truly am the cutest kitty cat in the whole world. Don't you agree? <laughs> yes, Nermal. You know, I want to hear you say it. Say, yes, Nermal, you're the cutest kitty cat in the whole world. <laughs> yes, Nermal, you're the cutest... Excuse me. For just one minute. <laughs> yes, Nermal, you are indeed the cutest kitty cat in the whole country. World. Excuse me. World. 
Well, whatever. Thanks, Garfield. Hey, John's serving lasagna after he finishes re-cleaning the house. I think it would be nice if you let me have all yours. Ooh, meow. That's it. I can't take any more of this. Ah! I didn't want to do it. Not even to normal, but I have to. I'm sending an email. I'm inviting John's cousin, Drusilla Minerva, to come visit. Ah, <laughs> now who could that be? I just finished cleaning the house again. Drusilla! Minerva! Hi, Cousin John! We came to visit! Oh, look! There's a cute kitty! <gasps> Hello, Hello, little, little kitty, kitty cat! cat. <laughs> Save me from them. <laughs> Sorry, cute one, but uh, you're on your own. But you promised to be nice to me. I'm being nice to you. They're the ones who aren't being nice to you. <laughs> he needs a shampoo and a rinse and eyeliner. Clean his ears, wash his fur, curl his tail, let the hand you. Garfield, please. She, I, I'd help you, Normal, but I haven't been myself since Pookie disappeared. He's in a hollow tree in the backyard! And we can dye him turquoise! There you are, my friend. <laughs> I'll help Normal after Pookie and I get reacquainted. Don't bother. <laughs> Well, Odie, I got Pookie back, and I never have to be nice to normal again. Everything worked out fine. There's another kitty! No. We'll Let me go! No, please! We'll give him a facial! We'll curl his fur! Come on, no, Help! Please! Pookie, save me! You think you can rob a bank and get away with it? When will you criminals learn that you are no match for ultra-powerful guy? <laughs> Once again, I have saved the day and brought justice to the world! Boy, ultra-powerful guy sure has a high opinion of himself. Garfield, could I have a potato chip? No. But I guess if you are uh, perfect and admired, it's hard to be humble. Here, have a potato chip. Thanks, Garfield. Oh. Hey, well, I don't need your snacks. I'm so cute, I can get it on my own. This I gotta see. Are my eyes deceiving me, or is that the cutest kitty I ever saw? 
He's so adorable. Here, let's give him an entire pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and Canadian bacon. <laughs> Sorry, Garf. I don't have a slice to share. Oh, if Ultra Powerful Guy came by, I bet you'd have a slice for him. Idea happening. Where's that long underwear of John's? <sighs> now I'm gonna need a towel and some boots. <laughs> Didn't know I was this handy, did you? Here you go, boy. A nice dish of sardines. <laughs> Beware, evildoers! You thought you could get away with your evil doing, but you failed to reckon with the awesome might of Ultra Powerful Guy. Wow! Citizen, have you seen any evildoers around here? I'm searching for the villainous Dr. Drastic. He's a master of disguise, and I have reason to believe he's currently made himself look like this. <gasps> But don't be afraid. He's only dangerous when he spreads around his disastrous Omega-3 explosive devices, which he makes to look like harmless but delicious sardines. <laughs> Great Scott, that diabolical villain. Fear not, citizen. Ultra-powerful guy is on the job. I shall dispose of these dangerous items. Up, Up anyway! Hi, boy. How are those sardines? Odie, what's wrong? Odie, stop! It's me, John! John! Mmm. Oh, gosh. Wish I had a napkin. Oh, wait. I always wondered why superheroes needed capes. Now I know. <gasps> I wonder if there are any cat shows I could enter today and, of course, win. <laughs> Let's see. Calculators, caterers, caterpillars. Ah, here we go. Cat shows. Uh -huh. Two o'clock. I'll win it and be home by three. Hey. Hey, it's stuck. Hey. I'm trapped in this phone booth! Help! I'm stuck in this phone booth! Help! This looks like a job for Ultra Powerful Guy! Here I come to save the day! Ouch! Ouch! You saved me! Who are you? <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Oh, I thought everyone knew Ultra Powerful Guy. What? I fly. I leap over tall buildings in a single bound. I eat, which reminds me, all of this superheroing stuff has made me work up an appetite. Could you show your appreciation by uh, kindly supplying me a Sure. It's the least I could do for ultra powerful guy. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> What a cute cat. Here, take this plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Here you go, UPG. Thanks. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to eat here. Oh, sorry. See you later, superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's how you eat spaghetti, kids. None of this twirling on a fork jazz. You know what kind of dessert goes after spaghetti? Any kind of dessert. My, what an incredibly cute cat. Say, incredibly cute cat, have you seen two men around here? They're wanted criminals. Sorry, haven't seen anyone. Ah, this is great. 
I'll rescue Nermal again and have his cute magic reward me with a couple of pies. Here we go. Hey, hey, slow down. I have to get to him before you. Citizen, look out! Ah! Oh! I'll protect you from that runaway dumpster. Oh! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Oh! Oh! Stop this thing! Ah! I'm telling you, Joe, this is the time to rob that bank. And I'm telling you, Mo, not with ultra-powerful guy around. That guy's too, he's too... Ultra-powerful? That's the word. He can do anything. Anything except stop a runaway trash dumpster. Apparently. No, no, help! That didn't look very ultra powerful to me. Me neither. <laughs> I'll bet Batman doesn't get banana pills in his mask. Hey, Mo, you see that? I see, I see. Ultra powerful guy without his mask. He's a. He's a. Cat! Kind of a fat one, too. Gotta hurry. I have dessert coming. <laughs> Just think. We know Ultra Powerful Guy's secret identity. And we know his weakness. He is a cat. Let us go rob ourselves a bank. Let us. It's real simple. I saved your life, I get a reward. Aren't superheroes supposed to fight for truth and justice? Yeah, we do all that stuff, but sometimes we also need pie. Now get on with it, banana cream with some chocolate sprinkles. All right, I'll put on my best banana cream pie with chocolate sprinkles cuteness. <clears throat> Meow. My goodness, I've never seen a cuter cat in all my life. Here's a chocolate cream pie with banana sprinkles. <laughs> <sighs> Close enough. Ooh. Wow, you're kind of a disappointment, ultra powerful guy. Not now. I have a pie. <laughs> Gee, ultra powerful guy wasn't that impressive. I wish I could have seen him do something really ultra powerful. Huh? Oh no, a bank robbery. What do we do? What do we do? I know. This looks like a job for Ultra Powerful Guy. Hey! But I keep telling you, I don't do bank robbers. You know what I'm good at. Get me another pie. You're a superhero. It's your duty to foil those nasty bank robbers. I, I don't suppose you guys would like to stop in the name of the law? It's Ultra Powerful Guy. <laughs> we ain't afraid of Ultra Powerful Guy. Because we know his secret, and that we can defeat him with this. What is that? You don't know what it is? It's a catnip mouse. <laughs> Which is every cat's weakness. Doesn't do anything for me. Maybe if you had one stuffed with lasagna. It ain't working. Yeah, let's get out of here with the loot. <laughs> <laughs> Great Scott, this looks like a job for... Ultra Powerful Guy. Huh? Hey, you closed the door in my case. What? What? Stop! Cape Cod! Yoo-hoo! Whoa! Stop, please! Never once happened to Batman, trust me. Stop the car! Save a cat! Ah! End of the road for you three! Ah! Two! There are two of them! Honest, I'm just sort of a, a tag along or pull along. I don't count. What? Ah! Nice work, Cat. <laughs> if you hadn't delayed them, I never would have caught them. That was awesome, Ultra Powerful Guy. You were just amazing and... Hey, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Oh, come on. Tell me, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. 
guys, this is not fair. One of you is a real ultra powerful guy, which is it? I am. <laughs> Come on, okay. Which one of you is the real ultra powerful guy? I am. <sighs> this is impossible. All right, guys, last time. Which one of you, real UPG, hit me? <laughs> 